Hello viewers, today we are going to be installing the window fan in the bathroom again. Um, last year I modified this thing to have its own switch and this year what I'd like to do is modify it again and install some type of a shutter on the back so I can leave it in the window during the cold months and not have a draft in here. Before I take the time to open the window and finagle it in there, let's just uh, test it out and make sure it still works. I would think it would, but you know what? You never know. Okay, good. It still works. So, um, let's uh, open the window and we'll see what kind of deplorables are situated inside that window. There very well could be some because I have not had this window open in a long time. Actually, let's see if we can even get the window open. Huh? Yeah, that went uh, fairly easily. Okay, good. And uh, to my surprise, it's actually not uh, particularly disgusting. So, um, that's good. And we'll see. The other thing that will probably happen as I do this is the window screen will fall out because it falls out on a regular basis because it's cheap. So anyways, um, I'm going to unravel a fair bit of the cord here and uh, let's get started here. So there's a certain way that this fits in. I don't exactly remember what it is, but I believe on one side of the window the the fan goes inside this track here and then on the other side I think it sits right here and that may be what that uh, paint loss is from so let's see how, how it fits probably could look back on the video actually I don't know if I made a video of installing this ever but uh, anyways the fan itself actually should really be cleaned um, you can see there it's uh, got a good bit of accumulation on it, but uh, I think I'm just going to leave it be for now. Because I, I just take this outside and blow it off next time I have the air compressor going. So I'm actually going to start this side. I'm going to put this side in that little track. And then I believe I'm just going to finagle it in there. And there it is. And then of course it has to go up like, like that. And that is where it sits. So, and this is great because um, I can still open the window like this and that's plenty to get a good breeze coming through. I could even put a small box fan in there and yet um, this is in place and it'll work well and you can see it makes a nice seal up at the top and all along there so there's really no air coming back in um, it just obviously when you turn it off the air comes in uh, if it's windy out and other windows are open or if it's really cold out you can feel a cold draft so at some point I want to get like a shutter for it I'm not sure where I'd find something so small but uh, I'll keep looking so now uh, we've got to route the cord and then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna plug it in because there's too many things plugged into that outlet over there. So I think that I had the cord going like this. Okay, so that's kind of like that. Runs down the side of the window. And I know you can't see this, but there's another tack down here. So it comes down and then it connects uh, down here as well. Actually, that looks, that's not right. That's terrible. Um, maybe it just went like that. Yeah, I think that's what it did actually. I think it just kind of goes like that. Uh, so then the next thing we have to do is route it behind here. This is the most interesting part because there's usually a lot of um, webs under here. Ok, 
Okay, now in a perfect world this cord would have been like a foot longer, but this wire is expensive and I'm cheap, so this is uh, as long as it is. Actually this cord, I didn't buy this for this purpose, this was originally something I had bought to use downstairs in the shop um, for a wall fan, but uh, not really needing that, and so I had this laying around, although it's not quite the right length, I use it anyways. So, I have this little freak show here as I try to get this stuff behind the clock. Some of you may uh, get that reference. interesting situation because what usually happens here is we have this thing plugged in like this and this is the telephone and this is the light and then this is the the junky ceiling fan um, I believe I actually have a different light that has a smaller plug and in theory I could use that um, Let's see here. I don't think. Yeah, this light is going to be an issue. I'm going to have to get a different light. But uh, we'll just do that for now. It's not perfect. Actually, I think what I might have done in years past, and let me do it this year again, is I just I plug this right in here. And then I put this up over it like this. No, I guess I haven't done that. I don't know what made me think I did that. I don't know. We'll just do it like this. I'm actually going to move this over. And we'll do this like this. I don't like these orange adapters because it's so hard to get this stuff plugged in. Okay, we'll do that. And now, ugh, the soap is all over the place. Look at this disaster. So this is the problem, like the wire, the wire doesn't like sit flush up against here like I would like it to. I mean it's not bad, it's a waterproof wire so if it gets wet it doesn't matter. Um, so that's that. Actually, you know, with this, no. Okay. Um, so the other problem is like the wire is, you know, kind of obnoxiously existing over here. And I wish there was a way to do this, which was a little bit less obvious, but without it being long enough, that's just what it is. You know, but whatever. So there it is, there's the, the window fan in here. Turn it on. Very nice unit, very quiet. And uh, let's go a little hum to it. I guess that's just how it is. I don't remember. Anyways, it's much quieter than the conventional thing in here. Wherever it is, there it is. So that's why I like this one better. Um, let's do a spin down. Okay, and for those that are interested, look at the information on here. It is in fact a GE motor. This was uh, probably pulled out of a refrigerator or something like that, a refrigerator condenser. So, there you have it. There is the uh, window fan installed in the bathroom. <laughs>